Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today what I'm going to be doing is I will be reviewing my new washer and a dryer. They are portable, so they're usually ideally for like RVs. But um you could also use them in your apartment. Um okay, so the reason why I chose this portable washer and dryer is because you do not need a uh, hookups that usually you need for like a regular washer what I like about this is that um, this washer is that you could hook it up to a sink um, unfortunately for our sink in the kitchen I wasn't able to hook it up because it has a special little um, spout that kind of pulls out so I'm not able to take it off as easily as the bathrooms the washer for it to grab the water you're able to hook it up to the sink unfortunately you can't pick from the actual washer if you want cold or hot but you are able to twist the handles and make it to your preference of water so you're able to actually pick how warm or how cold you want your water to be but you can't select it from the washer itself so that's also like a give and take on it so you connect it to the sink it connects to that then it does have a pump inside that will pump the water out into your sink so that's another spout that it uses and then the connection it just needs a regular outlet I did ask for both my washer and my dryer to make sure that it was compatible with the regular out outlets because some washers or some dryers or some some applications or some machines need a special outlet that gives a little bit more energy and it can burn out your outlets or it could, could cause like a shortage so that's why you need to be you need to look more into depth especially on what you need to get I know that you could buy a regular washer I did see on YouTube that you could buy a regular washer um, and you could um, connect it to the actual um, bottom of the sink and you could use their the the hookups to the sink but I don't know if that's illegal and I don't know if that would be that would be too much for me so I didn't even want to choose it if I had a family maybe of six or maybe of six <laughs> six or more I would um, I would pick that just because you know you do need something a lot bigger I do feel like I maybe did buy something I should have bought a bigger one, but I know that that one kept on um, running out of stock because my sister has been trying to buy that one through Home Depot, and I could put that link. I was going to do it through Best Buy, but um, the washer and dryer through the Best Buy was going to cost me about $1,700. It was going to cost me $1,700, which is not bad. I mean... So okay, so we went to Best Buy. We looked it up. It was gonna be seventeen hundred. My husband was about to pay his card, but the lady did ask him that they were gonna do an additional thirty something dollars if we wanted a certain like thing that go like spout that goes out for the dryer. You know that like where it lets out the hot air. And um, I sat there. I honestly knew that we could have gotten it cheaper well he has a best buy credit card and i figured you know might as well just get it through there just because we were already there i just figured that it wouldn't it wouldn't be that big of a deal and he it wasn't going to be that big of a deal anyways it was just gonna it was just gonna be more money as soon as she told us that i like really it didn't sit, sit well with me that they were going to charge me an extra 30 dollars just to deliver it so um that's when I told him because he he left it up to me he's like you know you get whatever you want everything's on you if you want it you choose what you want how you want it where you want it whatever and so once she told me that it was gonna be like an extra thirty dollars I just I sat back and I was like I know I could get it a lot cheaper and then that's when the regret came in and I was like eh, let's just let's just think about it a little bit more and he started laughing he's like dude i was about to swipe and i was like i knew i know so when we went to home depot we went on the same day um he does work at home depot um i don't know why we didn't look up 
at the Home Depot pricing beforehand. I think my sister told me that she was gonna buy one in Home Depot uh, to begin with, so that's why I'm like, yeah, let's go to Home Depot. And he's like, yeah, for sure, let's go. And so when we went to Home Depot, um, we were looking it up and it was gonna, it was less than $800 for sure. Yeah, he was just like, wow, I can't believe I, I saved myself like $1,000 and I was like, I know. But I know that maybe it would have would have been good. Oh yeah, and then the other brand was like, a lot of people didn't like it. So that's why uh, we, I thought about it too. And I was like, ah, it, the, the one in Best Buy didn't have that many good reviews and this one did. So let's go ahead and start showing you and how I hook it up and whatnot. And then how much clothes it actually fits into it. Record the inside and whatnot. I think there's a bigger one. I'm pretty sure that there's a bigger one. Because I feel like this one's a smaller one. Because the one that I saw on YouTube, it has a little like um, thing, a little filter. And this one doesn't have a filter. I don't think it does. I'll probably look more into it, but I don't think. But I think this cubic feet is a little bit smaller than the other one that I saw on YouTube. So let's go ahead and um, get to hooking it up. So in order to move this, I know that there is a little dolly that I could buy, but I haven't bought it yet because I'm a procrastinator. And yeah. So let me go ahead and show you how it connects. So it has three different connections. This is the power part. And it has little hooks here to so where you could put it so it doesn't look so um, bulky. I also put the tubing in there because I don't want it to have so many wires out here. I just feel like it's too many wires and I don't want it to look like, I don't know, it looks aesthetically pleasing when it just has one wire. This one is, oh, that, well, that fell. So this little bed part goes on here. And I just twist it it's a little plastic part like that and I just twist it on it comes with all these adaptions just twist it all the way so this bottom part is where the water pumps out of okay and this is what it comes with this is the hose that it comes with right here this is the hose it's plastic and then it comes with this little thing that you're able to push push like this and you're able to move and so what you do is you just put it in this little hole right here. And this is where the water is going to pump out of. And at first I was like, dude, like this water is literally going to spill out for sure. But it does not, my friends. It does not. I make sure that this little part right here is on the plastic part. I did it well last time. I pushed the metal part all the way back to where the actual plastic of it starts so both of the plastics are um, over each other look at you guys it has little dolly wheels right here this part already comes with it this one right here what I had to do is I had to unscrew the part that and I bought all of these things that I really didn't need because um, on the YouTube um, video of the girl that um, bought it, I think she bought the bigger version, she did need to buy a spout part. But fortunately, I didn't, even though I already bought it. But I told my husband if you know if we were to move or anything, or if we ever buy, buy an RV or anything in the future, um, we'll have those extra pieces. So this is my sink part. So this is what used to fit right here with the sink and then this is the uh, filter that so this is the metal part and this is the filter part that already was on here but we took it I took it out because I wanted this to fit on here um the water doesn't spray very pretty but I mean it's a sink so what I do is I just connect this to the outlet right here And then I connect this part. It has this thing where you pull it back. Um, this tends to leak sometimes. I think it's on there pretty tight. But this comes off of this. But just make sure it's nice and tight. It tends to leak a little bit. Pull back. There you go. I'm gonna try to hold my hands steady because I know I get really dizzy whenever I watch YouTube channels and they're like moving everywhere. So this is a power button. 
this is how you pick what are the options that you have you have a small load medium load or large load you're able to pick um, either normal cotton gentle speed wash or spin white heavy soiled or tub cleaning and then this is how big the are you able to see it this is how big the washer is and then this I just close once I'm ready to wash and then I just click to the side and it keeps it nice and safe from the water not coming out, so on and so forth. So let me go ahead and show you what a, how big of a load I normally do. Meanwhile, I'm going to turn on this faucet right here. See, so it does leak a little bit. I don't know if you're able to see how it leaks. It's leaking a little bit right there. I'm going to show you how much I can fit in there. So I'm able to fit one, two, and this man is six feet tall, so those are big. Oh my gosh, these uh, pajamas are like the best. They like feel like butter to my skin. I don't know. It feels so smooth. This, and then this is my tank top that goes with it, one pair of shorts, and then I'm going to hit on, then I'm going to put load size, which is three because it is a large, and I'm going to hit this, and then I'm going to put both. You're able to add your soap, so this is it filling up. I'm just gonna close it. It tells you how many minutes it's gonna be. So it's telling me that it's gonna be 37 minutes. I just go ahead and close it. Let's say you leave this open. Let's say you leave this open while it's filling up and it's already done filling up and it's ready to spin. It'll start beeping at you. It'll um, set off an alarm letting you know that you haven't closed the door yet. So there is a sensor right there. So people did ask me if um, it's loud. Right now it's just doing the like slow motion washing once it starts uh, doing the last spin I can't hear it from um I can't hear it from my living room <clears throat> the only thing is that I like to turn off the, the lights because the lights tend to dim when it's like doing the spins I don't know if you can tell right now how it's like kind of like dimming a little bit so I like to turn off the light and I just don't want because I don't want to affect it by any chance, so I'll go ahead and turn off the light. to my room oh so this is oh my gosh forget my hair so this is another, my hair looks crazy so this is another room i don't think it's too loud let's go to the living room my hair looks really crazy this is the living room i can't hear it at all i hear a little bit of humming but that's it So that was a whole cycle. Let's go ahead and open it. Okay. So you go ahead and open it. Let's turn this off. So let's open it. Let's twist this. Open. So it comes out, it comes out pretty dry. Like this right here 
feels wet to the touch but it's not like soaked does that make sense so i don't know and it smells amazing because i put the unstoppables in it this is how it looks inside hold on let me move that because i moved that so i feel like it did wash pretty good so this is my dryer don't come for me my bed is not done um i feel like it's pretty spacious this is inside of it oh yeah that's the filter back there the size so right there is the time the heat level and the different options so as soon as you twist it it will automatically turn on so there's no push button or anything so behind here what we have is two different things one of them is going to be the cord and the other one's going to be where the hot air comes out kind of kind of hard to do it with one hand but y'all get the gist right last time it didn't move at all we'll see what happens this time just put that in there I turn I like to pull this handle and I like to push it in because I don't want to break it and then so I just turn it to the highest heat and I let it do its thing I'm gonna show you guys had like a load without heavy pants because those pants were really heavy those two pants were really heavy so that's why I get really scared putting uh, more clothes in there so let's do a toddler fitted sheet we're gonna do Miguelitos, um, or just regular little shorts. We're gonna do another little pairs of shorts. We're gonna do two shirts of Miguelitos. Let's do another pair of shorts. Oh, let's do his costume. This is like a straight out like, and it has the padding in it, so it's gonna take up a little bit more space. So we'll go ahead and put this little costume in there oh can we put another costume in there let's put another costume in there we bought him two costumes last year just because i feel like it's so cute watching little boys have like muscle muscle costumes and i think we got them at walmart we got them super cheap maybe like 20 bucks so this right here and i think I think we could put more stuff in there, but I don't want to. So the dryer dries. I feel like it dries pretty fast. For towel, for towels, which I feel like are the heaviest thing. It looks like such a mess in the background, but I promise it's just a hamper. And then the shoes. We have a lot of shoes. I don't know. Don't ask me. I, I don't know. Back to what I was saying. It's, it takes like about 15 minutes for it to completely dry like simple things. Towels, it takes a little bit more to dry. I feel like it does a whole 45 minutes to dry. To dry, But at the same time, you're doing it in the comfort of your own home. So I have here um, my order. So we went ahead and ordered it August 1st at Home Depot. The dryer is called Extreme Power US. And it's uh, 2.6 cubic feet portable stainless steel trumbo dryer um, automatic drying mode in white and it's 8.8 .8 pounds it said its arrival was on the 14th i'll let you know what day it, um, it actually came in in just a bit the pricing for that wasn't bad it was um 2.99 99 cents so 300 dollars and then the, that was the dryer. And then the washer, it's called Black Decker. There's a plus sign in the middle of it. Black plus Decker. And it's 17.3 uh, inches uh, wide and eight point, no, I'm so sorry. 0 0.84 cubic feet. Uh, white portable top load washing machine and that was also ordered on August the 1st the estimated delivery time for that was between August 3rd to the 20th that was also $2.99 um, altogether 
I thought we paid a lot more, but we didn't. Altogether, um, it was $646 with 48 cents. So there is bigger ones. There's a one point OC. Oh, I should have gotten this one. I didn't think about it. So there's a 1.6 cubic feet. This one would probably be a lot better. And it was $327. But I should have done my homework a lot more, but I didn't. But you know, thug life, you live and you learn. So we ordered on the first. My dryer was delivered on August 10th. So what, nine days later? Washer was delivered. It was delivered last week. It was delivered when I went back to work. So it was delivered on the 14th of August. So that took about 13 days and the other one took about nine days. So I don't feel like it was too bad of a time wait, but I hope you guys liked my video. I hope it was informative. I know I really needed these for myself and my family. Um, I love it. On Saturday, I did wash like about four loads. And on Sunday, I must have washed about six. Um, I'm obsessed with it. I'm happy. Um, once again, I do wish that the washer was a little bit bigger and I did have that option, but I did not look into it and that was my fault. But, you know, um, at least I have a washer and dryer and I'm happy. If you guys have any questions or concerns, feel free to let me know with a comment down below. Thank you for watching my awkwardness. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, you guys.